Well, it's been a long time, Jen. A lot of bad memories of this place. On the corner of Silver Star Road and Industrial Boulevard in Orlando, sits a painful reminder for Jen and Jason Fielder. Uh, a total of about 12 to 14 hours a day, we'd stay in this warehouse here. During its 17 years of existence, the Straight Inc. Drug Rehabilitation Program graduated roughly 12,000 people nationwide. Jason Fielder says he was one of those graduates. Uh, the conditions in your local jail or prison would have been uh, easier to deal with. There are many graduates who say Straight Inc. has helped them to beat their drug addictions. But in Fielder's case, he says he was never an addict, just a teen at the time forced into straight. Once they take you in for an evaluation, nobody's getting out. Jennifer Fielder says she was admitted into the Orlando facility in 1986 after running away from home at 14 years old. Straight Inc. had a family-oriented treatment approach. They made the rest of the family come to the group wraps every Friday night to visit um, Jennifer and to um, be involved in the program. That involvement would become more than he could ever imagine following a 14-day evaluation. I was um, at that point held captive uh, after 14 days and admitted into the straight program. I know if I can stay straight for the day and the day only, I can make it for the rest of my life. He says he didn't make it back out until 23 months later and claims that while inside, he not only experienced abuse, but became the abuser. At Straight Inc., some therapy treatments were conducted by other kids at different stages of the programs. Some of the things I saw children do to other children were more brutal than murderers. A documentary currently in the works aims to shed light on what went on in what the fielders called an extremely dark place. Fix My Kids Straight Inc. and the rise of the troubled teen industry includes interviews with people who were once treated at straight, sharing their claims of suicide, rape, and brutal beatings. Um, I was sitting at the table and one of the guys picked me up by the neck and held me by the neck and threw me back on a table because I tried to escape from their house. Fielder says she escaped from the program three separate times before finally convincing her parents that in straight, she was not being helped. Similar claims of abuse and falsely being admitted into the program popped up throughout the years. Lawsuits were filed against straight, investigations done by state agencies, and ultimately, all of the programs shut down by 1993. These abusive programs are still alive and they're in this state of Florida right now. The founders of Straight Inc., Mel and Betty Sembler, over the years have gained recognition for their activism in the anti-drug movement and maintain they helped thousands of kids battling drug addiction. The directors of Fix My Kids say of the more than 50 people they interviewed, one person did say he was cured of his addiction, but doesn't agree with the methods used at Straight. I was locked in uh, Straight Incorporated for 17 months. They took my life, my childhood for me. I've had uh, panic attacks and post-traumatic stress disorder since I've got out of that place, and I'm not gonna let them win.